Hi guys, PJ here today taking a look at the PC release of Deathloop. Now, this game requires more than 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Well, apparently, as you can see on screen, it does give you a major warning when you try and load it with less than 4 gigabytes of VRAM. The game specifies 6 gigabytes in total uh, as a minimum requirement, but can we get it to run on a 4 gigabyte machine? Well, I'll skip to the chase for you guys. Yes, you can. It's a little bit dependent, but yes you can now you're going to need your settings on low and very low for this <laughs> generally speaking this is on a gddr6 1650s so it's the newer 1650 card not the older one with the slower gddr5 memory now it is under its you know recommended settings and yes we've got the textures on low with this game though, it is a little bit strange. It doesn't actually have a medium setting for textures. So it basically goes low okay. and then high, Feels very familiar. high, etc. There's no this medium, well, odd, but still. Even on low, I think the game looks really, really nice though. And yeah, you know, it does run around 60 frames per second on these Shiny. settings. This is 1080p mm, display. And um, we've got 99% GPU usage. So yes, you know, it's, it's maxing it out sort of thing. This is on a Ryzen 4 600H, so that is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU, one of the newer ones, and not struggling at all. If you look at the little CPU readouts on the left-hand side there, you can see it's a very low percentage across the cores, so it's not struggling, it's not having any problems, it's, it's easy enough. The main CPU readout there is sort of 36% there, that's quite a high read in 28, so it is, it's not struggling. As for your GPU, just quickly going back to that for a minute if you've got say a gtx 970 i would make sure you buy this game from somewhere that offers a refund the gtx 970 was notorious in that it's only got three and a half gigabytes of fast memory and the extra half gigabyte is notoriously slow i don't believe this game is going to run well on that kind of gpu at all i think it's going to be trying to buffer it from memory and it's going to be stuttering all over the place so if you've got that card even though it's stated as four gigabytes vram you know guys get yourself somewhere where you can read from the game should you need anybody else with a four gigabyte card shouldn't have a problem i mean there's no stutters there's no screen tearing there's no problems there's no crashes i never had a single problem paying on this particular card it is flawless as you can see it's smooth and it does still look nice so not really a problem the rest of the system wise it's using just under eight gigabytes of normal ram this particular system had 16 gigabytes in it but it never went above what you can see on screen so it's under eight pretty much well it is it's under eight all the time so i don't think you'll struggle there 12 gigabytes will probably give you a little bit more you know headroom as it were but it's certainly okay on these settings and the other thing is this is installed on a m2 ssd now the game features like sectional loading between the levels so it loads set different sections in as you sort of progress through the game and that's actually when it saves this game so a quick drive is quite important if you've got this installed on an old mechanical hard drive it's it's gonna you know take its while to load each section and it's certainly not quick and ssd is again pretty much a system requirement for this now i will just touch on saves quickly as well because it's a bit of a weird game it's a bit roguelike you can't just hit save whenever you want to save like that it only saves at certain sections which to me is a pain in the neck you know on a single player game in my opinion you should be able to save it whenever the heck you want in fact if you've ever played Returnal on the playstation you'll know where i'm coming from <laughs> you just can't save your game it's quite annoying so um, bear that one in mind if i don't know maybe you've got family commitments and you need to be pulled away from the system frequently it's going to lose your progress if you shut it down so a bit of a niggle there with the game itself but anyway i'm digressing so, as you can see, the game running, 4 gigabyte VRAM, not a problem, plays nicely, you've got no worries there. However, if you were to up the ante a little bit and go for a 6 gigabyte card, which is the recommended for this particular game, such as, in this case, a 1660 Ti, okay, again, GDDR6, this one now using 5 gigabytes of VRAM, we've got you know some of the settings pumped up on it you've got some highs very highs etc train and everything's pumped up 
The only thing I noticed when doing this though, it does actually shoot up on the normal RAM requirements. So your actual system memory, we're using sort of nine gigabytes. So yeah, you're gonna need more than an eight gigabyte machine. You're gonna need probably 12 gigabyte machine. But six gigabyte VRAM, ample enough for these settings. You can easily tell the difference when you're playing the game. It does look a lot sharper. It doesn't look jittery around the edges of certain things. It does look an awful lot better when playing on the actual recommended specs. The AMD FSR, as you can see there with that light tower, sometimes doesn't quite resolve things right. It's sort of pixelated and shimmery, but it's a minor grumble for the, you know, the boosting performance you get. Speaking of performance, you're looking at nearly, well, you're looking at double the frame rate, if not more than double the frame rate of the 1650S. So most of the time you're going to be 120, you know, sort of realm, even when going through larger open areas. The card itself doesn't struggle at all with this game. So six gigabyte cards, you are looking at all the 1660 series as whether it's an S normal one or the TI top of the range one. 2060, that's six gigabytes. The old 1066 gigabyte, yes, that'll run it. Probably have to turn things down a bit though, due to the performance mm, side of things. That card's been quite long in the tooth now, but should still run it without a problem. Uh, and then anything else, obviously, with more memory, you're not going to struggle either. So, yeah, game's really nice. No stuttering, no, no problems with it. This is actually on an Intel CPU, 6 core, 12 thread, latest generation. So, you know, it's, it's married up to a decent CPU again. I would imagine an older CPU might struggle a bit, but on these newer ones, this one's only running at well, 20 odd percent of its, its potential at the moment, the CPU. So quite easy game to run in my opinion on newer equipment. I have put right at the end of this video, all the options and settings available. So sound, gameplay, languages, subtitles, graphics options, display options. Yo, the whole kit and caboodle is right at what? the end of the video, guys. Because on a lot of these type of videos that I do, people say to me, you know, thanks for putting up the languages and stuff like that, or the subtitles in different languages to see what's available, to know if it's supported. So I've popped it right at the end. There's no voiceover or anything. It's just literally going through every setting and option the game's got. Could be useful for somebody, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, the whole video is useful. But, you know, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You can see how it runs. It runs really, really well. appreciate you watching. If it was any help whatsoever, give me a thumbs up. And from me, that's a bye for now. Okay, look, I don't know what I did last night, exactly, but if you could just, uh... What? What did you say? Uh, I think we know each other. We know each other, don't we? Yes! <laughs> Finally! You're back! So, how much do you remember about me? Well, it's a little hazy.